Now then everybody, welcome back to WA UK. We're back at the barn today. Uh, a few additions today. I've brought myself notes for the very first time. Anybody who knows me and knows my channel, I don't prepare and it's quite off the cuff, but today I've had to prepare a little bit. So on one of the last videos, I had a question off Apocalypse Preparation UK wanting to know a little bit more about my awning system. So I'm gonna go into a few more uh, detailed explanations of how, how I've made it. And I'll put links all in the description below of companies I've used to buy all the parts. But the other addition is, I brought a friend with me today. This is our Leon. Now Hello. I've known Leon for about 30-ish. Yeah, oh God, yeah, easily. Give or take 30 years. Uh, Leon has a channel on YouTube called uh, Props. Pro Prom Props and Wings is Props my and Wings. channel. And he has another channel called uh, Leon Howarth, which is yeah. his name. Now, Leon's going to be doing a couple of collabs with me because he's into his wild camping. He's into a, a few conspiracy theories, which has kind of drawn us back together a little bit. And uh, a few various other things, wild camping and such. So we're going to be getting together to do a few videos in the future. But he's also a dab and behind the camera. So he's offered mm. to come out and, and help me film a few bits today and teach me a few bits. Because, you know me, I'm no expert. Um, I'm not claiming to be an expert in anything I do. I'm just blagging my way through life like the majority of us. Anyway... Um, I've been spending again. I bought uh, a few fairy lights for inside the trailer. Um, just Chinese cheap stuff. Uh, I've bought a monocolour, like a soft white, that's going to go in the cab somewhere. I've not quite decided where. And I've bought another strip that's going to go on the outside that are RGB that are controlled by a phone app. They're going to go in, not today, but they are going to go in sooner or later. And I've also, I was talking about the switch panel in one of the videos. Uh, I put a picture of this on my Instagram. But that's the switch panel. I think I managed to get it as low as £15.80 and it comes with all the wiring and all fused wires on the back. So it's, so it's quite a nice thing compared to the th effort I've made in there. So uh, yeah, we're going to be filming that pretty soon. Okay guys, on with the description of the awning and I'll go into a bit more detail. And as I just mentioned, all the links to the companies I've used are in the description below. Right then guys, the awning comprises of three main components bought from three different companies. This is the only one I can't help you with. This is a telescopic extending pole, and this forms my legs. Uh, I bought this from eBay, but since I've gone searching for it, and I can't find it, so it's no longer there. So, I mean, any extending pole will work. I've got four of these, and I use it for the two legs on the front of the awning, and uh, I use it if I'm ever deploying or, or making the awning any bigger. So that's, that's, that's the, the, the uprights, basically. Then, I went to a company called Aluminium Warehouse, UK based company down south somewhere, somewhere, bleh, somewhere, I'm not exactly sure where it is, and I bought, I think they come in 8 foot lengths and 16 foot lengths, but it's just inch box section, or 25 mil if you want to speak in mils, and uh, it kind of looks like that, um, and if you go onto their website, I mean I'll put a link to the bits that I've actually bought below, you get it's called their easy fix system and it comes with little pieces like that and you can buy these in in loads of different configurations you know they come as crosses they come as right angles they come hinged and I've used the hinge ones on the back now I've, I've kind of upgraded from these and they just simply push in you do have to give them a whack they're they're, they're quite a tight fit but um it's been up in some horrendous winds and it's never given up it's it came apart once um, and that was at Edale this year. Uh, it, it blew apart and I just had to get up at five in the morning and push it all back together and then put a ratchet strap around it. But since then I've, I've improved. That, that, that wasn't their bit, that was my rubbish building to be fair. Um, but since then I've improved it and I've just simply pushed it right in like that and I've drilled a hole through and I can put a pin or a bolt or anything through it to stop it blowing apart if there's high winds. I don't always use that, but um, yeah, you, you, you can use that system. Um, I've fastened this bit onto the awning at the very front with some bolts just through the eyelets, uh, some big washers on and some nuts on the back so I've just literally drilled through, through the aluminium tubing and I've just used some bolts to fasten it on the front and then on the back I've just cut sections off, I've bolted it actually to the roof rack and these bits push on so it just all just simply pushes on. Okay, the last section to the puzzle really is the tarpaulin. Now I use a company called Tarpflex. Again, it's a UK based company. Uh, I went for the heaviest weight one thinking that's what I needed. And if I could do it different, I would have gone slightly lighter weight. This one is the 21 ounce waxed canvas. Now I would have gone for the 17 ounce, I think it's a ripstop canvas they do. It's slightly more expensive, 
but it's lighter and it's easier to manipulate. Uh, this is kind of like cardboard. It's really, really thick. Uh, whereas the other one is, is, is a lot, it, it's more like paper to be fair, it's, it's thinner, it's more like material um, and, and it's easy to, as I say, manipulate it and, and put into areas that you want it to go. The Army used the Ripstop 17 ounce, that's, that's basically what all my sides on the awning are, um, but my roof is this heavier one and it has the reinforced uh, embroidered in brass eyelets as well that I've put my bolts through with a big washer and that's what basically holds it in situ. So what you're looking at here is just the small section that I've bolted. I've drilled two oversized holes here and obviously two smaller holes on the inside and there's two bolts just holding this bit to the roof rack and you can probably see there it's shaking the whole, the whole trailer when I, when I push it. And it's got the 90 degree quick connectors on there that you could just shove the poles on the end and then you can deploy an awning on the back if you want. So this bar here is the bar that's actually attached to the tarpaulin that's under here. It's, uh, as I said, bolted straight through the bar, through the eyelets and onto the bar, so it's physically attached. And then when I attach the bars, the side bars, if you will, onto here, it just pushes on with the right angle straight into there. Um, the actual tarpaulin itself, with the eyelets that are on the back, it's bolted straight onto the roof rack, onto this bar here that runs right the way along. So it's actually attached to the roof rack. Um, so, unless it blows off by some, you know, miracle and starts flapping about, I can't physically snap the bolts, I hope, uh, um, and, and I lose it and I cause an accident. Um, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm massively an advocate for safety. I've got three or four systems to stop stuff happening on all throughout the trailer. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, as I say, I've got the bolts, so it would flap about if these ever came up, came off and then I've got bungees and I carry ratchet straps and all sorts so I could, I could lash it back on and, I'm, I'm, and just be safe um, but you know I've, I've, I've been from Blackpool to Peterborough I've been to London I've been all over with this and these just are heavy duty um, velcro straps I think I'd describe them as again if I can find them on eBay they were an eBay purchase I will uh, I'll give you a link to them and that's how I've attached them but you don't have to use them you could use bungees you could use uh, paracord you could use whatever you wanted any system would fasten that in place but again if I grab that and pull it I mean I can actually and I'm, I'm I, can, I can shake the trailer to death before that moves or goes anywhere so again it's all kind of focused on safety um, and in a nutshell that's how I've built it it's not the Holy Grail. Um, you can build this however you want. I mean, it's only limited by your imagination, really. I went for this because it was simple and it was easy. And uh, the, the, the actual made ones by various companies were very expensive. A lot of people I know have got them and they suffer in the wind if the wind catches them and it snaps the poles and you can't buy replacement poles. So then you end up gaffer taping them. Um, the canvas rips, the stitching rips on the canvas. It's not actually canvas. It's more of a, a ripstop nylon which isn't fireproof, this stuff is fireproof. I say fireproof, it's spark resistant. I wouldn't like to chuck it on a campfire or anything crazy. Um, but you know, rogue sparks off your burners or off campfires are not gonna harm this, they're not gonna burn it, they're not gonna put a hole in it, they're not gonna melt it. So it's, it's, it's just a lot better. And as I say, it's, it's just limited by your imagination really, that, that, that all, all these bits I've used, you can manipulate and you can put together and make whatever you think is going to be appropriate for your needs. So to close up the video, thank you for everybody who's entered the competition. Competition ends on the 20th of September 2019 and you win basically what you see here, but brand new. My one's obviously very used, very weathered. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, there's about 90 entries so far, so there's still a lot of time. Um, we won't go into value, we won't go into any of that, but it's a really nice piece of kit. Again, I will put a link in the description of this, uh, and I will put a little, uh, I think they call it a card, above, so you can click and go and watch the video and go and enter and go and see the rules and terms and conditions for, for the video. Um, yeah, thank you very much. I'm overwhelmed and humbled by the amount of people that have entered. I was expecting 12 to 18, and we've got 90 so far. Um, thank you to all the people that commented on the reveal video. Again, that video just grew so quick for me, for my channel. So again, very, very humbled. Really, really appreciate all your support. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you. Uh, we've had an influx of that, probably due to the giveaway. But nevertheless, you're here now. You can't, you can't get out. It's like, it's like a, lifetime, a lifetime sentence. Once you're here, you can't leave. It's the rule. 
Um, and yeah, on that note, I will fetch you back in a few days when hopefully we'll be out in the field doing something a bit more exciting rather than just showing you the awning. I mean, it was a requested video though, so don't be too hard on me. Uh, and I hope it helps you. And I, yeah, please send me pictures, Instagram, Facebook. I'm all over the place. Send me pictures when you build your awning. I'll be interested to see how you're doing it and, and, and what you're making and how I've inspired you to, to make your own stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.